Hello, I'm Daniel Ross. I'm here with Arnie Esterer, the owner winemaker of Marco Vineyards in Conneaut, Ohio. Arnie was one of the first people to grow vinifera grapes in Ohio and is considered an icon of the Ohio wine industry for planting his first grapes in 1968. Arnie, could you tell us about Marco Winery? Dan, surely. Glad, to, glad you asked the question because Marco has been here since 1968. It was founded with Tim Hubbard and, and uh, Arnie Esterer and the cooperation of and the tutelage of Dr. Constantine Frank over in Hammondsport, New York. And he advocated the growing of real wine grapes, the old vinifera style, in this part of the United States. And so Lake Erie and Ohio and our part of this region uh, introduced uh, this concept of, of real wine grapes to this area, which weren't recommended before. So what we try to do and what we need to do at this time is to find what these wines will do along Lake Erie, how they develop, how each of these different varieties like Riesling and Chardonnay, the traditional uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and Pinot Noir, the ones that came from Europe uh, and didn't grow here for two or three hundred years, now we were able to do that. And so we're looking for, especially consumers who are so important and interested in which wines will work here and how they come out. So we try to let them develop their own character, their own personalities. They take the soil and they work with different rootstocks coming up through the vine, making wine, making grapes that you finally taste in the glass. And you taste these different vintages. Each vintage is unique in itself. It uh, develops character as it matures, and as you as you drink it, you don't know understand the wine until you've had uh, the same grape from the same vineyard over different years, and how it ages. It gains more value with age. It gains it gains different character. It changes in the bottle. It develops bouquet. It develops all sorts of wonderful, mysterious things that uh, we all enjoy. Thank you very much, Arnie. I appreciate it.